Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and I want to thank everybody so far who's um, left a comment and liked my last video on this um, uh, Banggood folding lockpick set. Um, a couple of comments did point out that I didn't really talk about durability and um, and feel and what the actual metal's like and and, and demonstrate picking some locks. So um, let's let's just do a bit of picking now. I'm not going to um, go through you know tons of locks on this. Um, you're just going to have to trust me that um, I have picked quite a few locks with this set, and for the sake of demonstration and ease, I've got this uh, 50 mil Chinese uh, storage locker padlock, which yeah, it's five pins, but it's a, quite an easy pick. I think there's a spool in it, but it doesn't always come into play. Um, so I've been picking quite a few locks with these, and I think you'll f see that uh, you know they're not looking too bad. Um, they are twenty thousandths of an inch thick um, in terms of the the width, um, so they are relatively delicate. The plus side is it will get this into um, a number of locks, and the aluminium combined with the thinner picks means it's actually quite light. It's quite nice. Um, so let's have a go at, um, at using some of these uh, picks on this lock. Um, let's do. Uh, let's do a city rake first, shall we? This is like one of the first things that a lot of people um, rake the first lock open with. Um, I've got a master lock style keyway, nothing too challenging. Uh, light tension going in. Just bouncing the tension down again, a bit of rocking, and there we go. Nice little open there. Um, in terms of what other rakes you've got, well, you've got my favourite, which is a snake rake, and I quite like the fact this is an offset snake rake. Um, gives you a little bit more chance of getting into locks with a, a more varied bitting. Okay, same again, locked up, light bit of tension, make sure the, the knurling's all screwed down. And um, yeah, have a, have a little bit of a oh wow, that was a that was super quick. There we go. We're into that lock. Um, what else can we use? Well, normally use a half ball on wafer locks, but uh, there's no reason why half ball couldn't work on um, a padlock that is susceptible to raking, which this one clearly is. There we go. Just need to be a little bit more accurate with your um, pick placement in terms of, uh, you know, you're not raking multiple twins at the same time. But again, got a nice open. And uh, let's single pin pick it. Um, now, this is one of those times where I think it demonstrates that one tool won't do everything. It just won't, no matter how much you want it to. If you look at these two here, the half diamond and the deep hook, Fold that out of the way. There you go. There's nothing wrong with them at all, actually, and I've picked some locks with them. But the downside is you have a bottom of the keyway tension wrench. Once you put that into um, a lock, even with a relatively open keyway like this, um, you'll find that the actual pick height here is just too long to slide past um, any sort of uh, low cut pins. And the same with the half diamond it's just a little bit too long for this lock does that mean they're bad no it just means that if you had um, a top of the keyway tensioner you could probably slide it in at the top and then uh, pick using um, a bit more of the keyway so I can't really demonstrate those on this lock um, and I've no desire to go find another lock right now so uh, let's move straight on to single pin picking using what I do have and I quite like this deforest pick. I'm not a big fan of deforest picks, but I find that this deforest ball is quite nice. If you actually look at um, its profile, it's it's relatively shallow, which means that um, it it actually acts a bit like a, a shallow hook that can also do a bit of raking. Um, maybe a little bit like a Peterson's gem, something like that. Um, you know, but um, obviously not. 
Um, prone to weakness around this area where there's a little uh, elbow in the metal, but uh, we should be able to pick this lock um, with the right tension. So. On pin one now, and we're open. There we go. So, um, what do I think of the the metal using these? Well, I've just um, run a bit of uh, twelve thousand grit sandpaper over them. You can see here that there's a little bit of um, uh, machine marking here, which might need to be um, moved off as well. But it doesn't really bother me at all. Um, the metal itself is um, probably stainless steel, um, and it's quite flexible. It's uh, you know it bends back to shape, um, so that is really good when it's uh, twenty thousandths. You don't want to be too heavy-handed on these because you know everything suffers metal fatigue. Um, but overall, the feel of these are pretty good once you've taken the um, burrs off the edges. The um, the actual pick itself is quite comfortable in the hand. Um, it's about right for me because I always rest my um, let's get. I always rest my finger on the pick itself to just provide a little bit of support and uh, this is just right for my hand. Um, might not be right for everybody's hand but I find that you know you get reasonable feedback uh, with these as well. So I hope that's cleared up some questions that people have had about what I think the, the durability and feel is like and uh, and demonstrated how you can use it to, to pick locks. Um, so there you go. Okay. Like, like always, I hope you found that interesting, happy picking, and I'll see you next time.